Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I am reminded of uh, some imagery in um, King Solomon's uh, Song of Songs, uh, where he says at uh, chapter 4, verse 9, You captured my heart with one of your eyes, with one bead of your necklace. And... Um, I was thinking, what is this one eye thing captured with one of your eyes? Normally, when you look at something, you use both your eyes. What's going on over here? The Madrash comments that this verse means something quite different than the literal translation. The Madrash goes on and says, it refers to the seemingly incomprehensible sin of the golden calf. After attaining such heights, they've plunged, the Jewish people have plunged to such depths. So the Medrash says, what is this one eye in Song of Songs? What does this one eye refer to? It means that the Jewish people with one eye, they were with God, but with the other eye, they were looking at idolatry. With uh, one eye, they accepted, they looked to Hashem, accepted the Torah. The second eye, they were looking at idolatry. And eventually, the sin of the golden calf, the Cheta Egel. Even that they stood at the foot of Mount Sinai, ready to accept the Torah, their devotion was half-hearted. They weren't all the way there. They had like one foot here and one foot there, and uh, you can't do that. And this is, I think, uh, what uh, Elijah the prophet uh, meant when he challenged uh, the Jewish followers of Baal, the, the false god Baal. These were not Jews that, that fully committed to the idol worship of Baal. They were, uh, they were halfway there, they were halfway uh, one foot in Judaism, one foot in Baal. They were Jews for Baal. They ran around in Jews for Baal t-shirts. And um, Eliza said, said, you know, this, this shilly-shallying with a question is absurd. How long will you dance between two opinions? If Hashem is God, go after him. If Baal, go after it. Mixed allegiances are worse than evil alone. Evil feeds upon and is sustained by the sources of good. Um, when that happens, it is especially pernicious, especially evil. The worship of Baal alone, bad enough as it is, it's, it's made worse when it's mixed with the worship of of the Creator. The fact that it's partly mis mixed with God, the worship of God, doesn't mitigate the worship of Baal. It makes it worse. Um, evil feeds on the light and it creates a greater iniquity. We have to first root out the evil so that the light can function. The light within us can, fun can function. This view basically states that uh, the golden calf was a result of the ambivalent allegiance to God. They wanted the Torah, but they couldn't keep their mind off idolatry. Both of their eyes were not focused on the same objective. And this can be de devastating, and certainly in that case, it was. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, instructive and inspirational. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.